Hey everybody, welcome to another Sporkle Saturday here on the channel. I'm yours truly, Pat Dooley. Uh, each and every week I go to Sporkle.com, which is an online quiz site. I find a popular quiz about wrestling, and I take it. Uh, we're, I did two last week because I didn't do one the week before. Because of technical difficulties, that's a whole thing. But I think we're all caught up now, uh, and Royal Rumble season rolls on. Uh, when this episode comes out on Saturday, we are one week away from the 2023 Rumble. So I thought I would take a look back at the 2014 Rumble, uh, which was the one going into Mania 31, I believe. If No, uh, Mania 30. Yeah? 2014, yeah. So, 10 years ago. Uh, is basically the reason why this one got <laughs> put here, uh, and clearly I can't count. Uh, I did also have a dentist appointment earlier, and I'm cold, and my brain is not functioning, so this should be interesting. Uh, this is one of the most infamous rumbles. Um, so anyway, I'm supposed to be naming all 30 participants in it. Uh, I was only a little bit... I watched this rumble, because I always watch the rumble. But I wasn't really watching that much in 2014, so there's probably going to be a bunch I miss here. Plus, there's always, like, random returns, and there's just going to be... I, I don't anticipate 100% on this one, but I do have seven minutes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play quiz. Okay, so I know for sure Rey Mysterio was number 30, because that was... Uh, he got booed a ton, because the fans wanted uh, Daniel Bryan, and he was not in it. Um... So let me see, just top guys from 2014. Uh, I think we're the, all three guys from the Shield were in it, yeah. Um, okay, Punk. Uh, okay, here we go, 2014. Uh, was Cody Rhodes in it? Yep. Um, already established Orton wasn't. Was Wade Barrett in any of his guises? No. Uh, how about Del Rio? Yep. Okay. How about Seamus? Yep. Okay. All right. We got nine in the first 45 seconds or so. That's a good pace. Um, of course, it's all going to come crashing down and hurt inside. Uh, okay. So Mania 30 was Triple H. No. Uh, Batista. Yes, I already got him. Orton. Uh, Punk. Was Lesnar in that one? I don't think he was. I think he was in a title match on the undercard. Uh, not Cena. I already tried him. Undertaker. Kane. Big Show. Uh, were the Wyatts around yet? Um, yes, they were, but only two of them were in it. Uh, JBL do one of those announcer things, yeah. Um, okay, okay, we're doing all right, we're doing all right. Um, feels like this is, you know, the hurricane would, like, randomly pop up in those. RVD did a few surprise appearances. Was that the year that Bubba Ray showed up? No. Tommy Dreamer, Sandman. Feels like there's always at least one ECW, um... Uh, Jericho was probably around then, no? Um, Christian, no. Edge, no. Edge was still retired at that point. Christian might have been too. Um, oh no. <laughs> uh, 2014 WWE, who else would have been there? Was Chavo still around then? How about Hornswoggle? How about El Torito? Oh, wow, okay, was not expecting that torque. No Diego, no Fernando. Do. Um, okay, um, who else would have been around? They, they weren't as primo or epico, no. Um, gosh, who else? 2014. Fandango? Yeah. Ryback? Yeah. Um, how about the guys from NXT Season 1? David Otunga, Justin Gabriel, Slater. None of those guys. I already established Barrett wasn't. Um, uh, not 
Triple H, not Cena, not Undertaker. Kane's already there, not Big Show. Um, Goldust, yeah. Um, how about Joey Mercury or Jamie Noble? Because they were doing the J and J security thing then, I think, right? Um, how about some of the Tyler Breeze, um, Sami Zayn? I'm trying to think of like the Neville. I'm just trying to think of like the the NXT guys that would have been part of that first kind of batch of call ups. Um, Owens, no. Drew McIntyre, I don't think was back yet. How about Jinder Mahal? Great Kali. Okay. All right. Um, how about the Usos? Both of them. Sweet. Big E. Kofi. Xavier Woods. No. Okay. Got 22 out of 30. Doing all right. Doing all right. Um... Is that the year Adam Rose was in it? Nope. How about Curtis Axel? Or Michael McGillicuddy? I have no idea if I spelled that right. Um, Bo Dallas? No. Um, I almost have the whole back half of the match. And I've almost got the whole match. I got 22 out of 30. Um, who else? Who else? Miz? Morrison? Uh, Alex Riley? No, that was like the 2012 Rumble, I think, that he did his thing. Uh, uh, Sandow? Yeah. This is like, what, 83% I'm sitting on right now? Um, might be my second best score of the year so far. I, don't, I haven't had 100% yet since the since Christmas week. 6-7, um, 12, 13, 14, and 21. The numbers don't mean anything. Uh, how about Evan Bourne? I know when I see some of these, I'm going to be like, oh, of course. Um, hmm. I don't know. Did they do the Michael Cole Booker T? That wasn't the... Okay, Kevin Nash was in that one. That's 83%. Yeah. Rusev, I should have remembered. Swagger, Ziggler, R-Truth, and Cesaro. Yeah. Yeah, I should have got those. I'm going to scroll up a little bit so you can see all that because I have it zoomed in a little bit uh, for the video. Still, 83% isn't bad at all. Um, like I said, it's my second best of the year behind that... Uh, bonus Hogan's uh, WCW pay-per-view opponents, one I did uh, last week to make up for the uh, previous one not working because <laughs> uh, of audio problems, which are not happening this time. I've been watching my levels and it's fine. No problems with audio this time. I may have to bump levels in editing, but uh, yeah, seems, seems good. Uh, next week, Rumble season continues, and I will be doing Rumble Runners Up, which uh, makes me a little nervous. This is going to be, I'm presuming, I'm just going to have to name everybody that ever came in second place in a Royal Rumble. So anyway, that was the 2014 Rumble. Uh, 83%, not a terrible score. Um, but next week, I've got Rumble Runners Up, which will probably be terrible i'm looking ahead at the next few weeks and uh so this rumble season is actually going to run until 
mid-February probably, just because there's so many great Rumble-related quizzes on Sporkle, and I love the Royal Rumble, so I'm gonna I'll do these for a while, uh, and then we'll uh, as as uh, February winds down, we go into March and April. We'll be uh, focusing more on WrestleMania uh, quizzes, except on March 16th, 316, uh, I've got a special Steve Austin quiz lined up for that day. Um, yeah, so plugs. Uh, every Friday, you can catch me at uh, in Tullahoma, Tennessee, for the Southern Wrestling Federation. I'm their ring announcer and their interviewer. Um, I also fulfill the same role for Tennessee All Pro Wrestling uh, in Morrison, Tennessee. Uh, I'm there most Saturdays. The Saturdays I'm not, it's because I'm at TriStar Wrestling in Hohenwald, Tennessee, uh, where I am also their ring announcer and interviewer. Uh, you can also catch me on back episodes of uh, Ricky Morton's YouTube channel. Uh, I was the play-by-play -play announcer on a show there called Revolution. Um... There's supposed to be a, as this is being recorded, I'm not sure if there's going to be a show tomorrow night, this being Sunday. Tomorrow night for me is, anyway, that doesn't matter. Sunday, the 21st, there might be a pay-per-view from School of Morton called Bunkhouse Stampede that I might be on, uh, but it might get postponed a week, in which case I can't do it, uh, in which case, you know, who knows uh, what, <laughs> what that means going forward. Um, but... You can catch me on back episodes of Revolution, plus their last couple pay-per-views. Uh, if you've got a Fight Plus, I'm sorry, Triller now uh, subscription, uh, you can go back and catch me on Epi's Big Gay Thanksgiving. Uh, that is up there. Uh, and hopefully you can see me coming to a wrestling promotion near you. Uh, if you are a promoter or you know one that's looking for an announcer, uh, primarily I've been doing ring announcing and interviews, uh, but I also have experience as a commentator, play-by-play -play and color. So whatever, uh, whatever your needs, as long as the needs don't involve me taking bumps, hit me up. Uh, my social media is all on the screen right now. My email address, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and, uh, you know, if you feel like contributing a little bit financially, I've got Venmo and PayPal on the screen as well. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm back next week with Royal Rumble Runners Up. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Hope you stay warm. Uh, that's been a struggle for me this week, uh, and I'll see you next time.